Hi, it's Catherine from In The Pink Designs. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And my project today is this pretty bag that I use the Twall Tidings Designer Series paper on. I also use the Wishes and Wonder stamp set and the Snowtime die. Nope, North Pole Wonder die set, sorry. And for this little tag, I also used the wrapped in texture embossing folder and I use like the um, fabric weave I guess it would be a little weave one or oh, basket weave maybe <laughs> all right this is the second time I'm filming this this was my project this was the one I did on the video and the file got corrupted so this time I'm going to do another one and I'll try it in the green side all righty so instead of the real red paper I'm going to use garden green all righty so let's we're going to start with a piece of garden green that is 10 inches by seven and a half inches okay so we're going to start on the 10 inch side and we're going to score at one half two and a quarter five and a quarter and seven and we're going to switch it to the seven and a half inch side and we're going to just score it at one and three quarters. Alrighty. Okay, let's fold and burnish. It's been one of those days. <laughs> I came home and my dog that shoes everything had never gotten to the Christmas tree. We had it up last year and this year, and now she decides she's going to chew the ornaments. So that was a little rough. <laughs> Alrighty. This is what we want to do. I have the long skinny rectangle on the left hand side. Alright, and we're just going to get rid of this rectangle at the bottom, cut apart all of this, and then we're going to cut a hole with the North Pole die, just the circle on this right here. Okay, and we have to put our um, DSP on before we cut the circle. And it's going to cut a little bit out of this flap below, but we'll cover it with the back flap this time so we don't have to worry about it. Okay. So we're gonna take away this smaller rectangle, um, rectangle skinny but smaller than the one above it and just wedge up a little bit into the one above it and then we're going to cut the rectangle straight and take wedges out of each side of the squares piece there because I didn't cut it exactly diagonal okay all right now since this is going to be our seam back here that'll be the back so this is where we want to put our window in all right, so we need two pieces of the 12 tidings designer series paper one for the front and one for the back. We're just going to attach the front one because we have to run this through the die cutting machine and I'd rather if it's going to, just in case I make a mistake, it'll only ruin the one piece. All right, so let me get my stamp and seal and I'm going to put quite a bit, like I'm going to do all four sides and then I'm going to do an extra right where above where I think the circle's going to be and then right below where I think the circle's going to be, so it won't pucker up. All right, decide which side do I like is the top, this side. Okay, and then just put that on. And I didn't tell you, these are, for, all, for the only DSP you need is two pieces that are two and three quarters by five and a half. All right. And now we're going to take our circle and place it where we want. And then just take a piece of low tag tape, 
put it on there. And to cut it, we're going to fold. It has, it's going to go this way because the machine has a six inch plate. So it's going to catch this, but it'll be all right. So I'm going to die cut this and I'll be right back. Okay. So I just cut this and I'm going to pull this off very carefully. And then you have a little extra piece of, of scrap you can use for another project. And this here, it didn't cut it all the way through, but it kind of damaged it a bit. So instead of, we usually make it so that our front flap goes down last, I'm just going to have to put the back flap down. That's all. All righty. Now we can put our other piece of DSP on the other side. There's really not one right side up or upside down for this. You just decide how you think you like it. Okay, now we need our tear and tape and we're gonna put it on the skinny rectangle right up next to the score line. Okay. And we're also gonna put some right here just to secure it down to this on that side you can always figure this out once you put the box part together too and then we're going to put it this is the final flap that's going to come down so i'm going to put two strips because i forgot to tell you what's in it <laughs> these lindor truffles i got this big bag at BJ's for $11 and there was also a $2 off coupon and you can get almost six of these boxes out of this so it's a very good value to for um, teacher gifts or co-worker gifts or just little gifts to bring with you when you go to someone's house for dinner or a party um, so it's only about it's not even it's like two dollars each which is pretty good especially for teachers gifts when you have the specialties if they go to speech and all all the gym teacher the art teacher so it helps out all right so let's peel this right now lots of office people to give to it makes a nice gift i would appreciate this gift all right now we're going to peel these just to try to secure this piece so that it doesn't go flapping up at the bottom on people when they reach down in there. Okay, so I'm gonna put them down first and then just try to square it up as best you can. Press it a little and then just bring Whatever you got, your scissors, your take your pick tool, just press on it so it'll attach it. And then we'll do the bottom flap. Okay. Alrighty, and that's our box. And I think I put between six and, oh, you know what I forgot? I didn't forget it in the first video, but I forgot in this one. We have to put our window sheet in. And the window sheet measures two and a quarter by two and a quarter. And if you're putting anything that's loose in here, I would put three along each side. But since we're not, um, it's going to be pretty, they're pretty big, the truffles in there. And they're wrapped, so I wouldn't worry too much about them sneaking out. And you don't even have to put the window sheet if you don't want to. You can uh, leave just a hole and then put them in a cellophane, ba cellophane bag and put it in there. And you don't even need the window sheet. Now, you should do this when it's not... <laughs> together but you can do it afterwards and 
I should have put this piece on because I always have a hard time with the glue leaking onto my window. So I would suggest while it's still flat, putting your window, before you put your window sheet on, we're going to put this little embellishment on with some glue. All right, now, and how I made this is I took my designer series paper and I tried to nest them as best as I can. They just about fit, so I just get them in there and then I put tape right over the two of them. I ran it through just like that, okay, and then it gives you pretty much a nicely even circle in the middle. All right, so you want to be, since I put my window sheet on, I want to be really, really stingy with my glue because I don't want it to squeeze out. Oops. Okay. I'm going to try to put this on right the first time so it doesn't get on the... Okay. All right, and I usually fit about six to eight of them in here. I'm going to say, well, it depends. I put eight in this one. Okay. Just make sure they're down there nice they show in the window like you want them to and then you're going to put your pointers index finger in the middle and push that in while you use your thumb and middle finger to squeeze all right and it kind of goes to where it's filled to it takes care of itself the side all righty now for the clip I had just a bunch of different ones that I bought from Target at one point. These are, I'm not sure what you call these, binder clips, I think. And they open like this. Okay, this has white. We're going to cover up most of it. Only a little bit of the white's going to show. This is off-white, but it's okay. I don't mind. All right, and now you do need another little piece of the designer series paper, just a little scrap. It depends now on what size your clip is. My clip is about one inch wide. Okay, so I cut my green cardstock to one inch to cover the clip part. And then I made the designer series paper a quarter inch less, so it's three quarter inch by one and a half. Both of them are one and a half long. All right, let me just get this so I don't make a mess everywhere. And then I'm gonna put this on first and just make sure you get a bit of glue at the ends so that it can really adhere well. I'm just going to shove it as far as I can down into this, the clips on the sides, on the ends of the clips, the bottoms. And then just hold it there a minute because it's going to take a minute to stick onto the metal. Okay. And then we're just going to glue this and do the same thing. And it makes a pretty clip. You could also use the plain gold ones, which I'll show you in a second. So these clips you can usually get at Walmart, Target. I got mine at Target. It's like a multi-pack. I know you can get them at Staples, lots of places. Okay, that's done. Now, you can use these like that. That's good too, but I wanted to put a little, use something that I dressed up. All right, so I'm going to put this little clip on here. Close it. 
and clip that down and that looks really pretty. Okay, now for some stamping. We need a piece of Whisper White, uh, not Whisper White, uh, very vanilla. And this time I'm going to use the Garden Green. And this is like, I think this is a mistletoe, maybe. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm thinking it's a mistletoe. Okay. And now I need that die. And I'll cut that out. But also, we need a piece of gold foil paper that is one and a half inches wide, I believe, right? No, yeah, one and a half inches wide by at least, it has to be over two and a quarter inches, okay? And we're gonna use the Essential Tag Punch. And I don't, I wanted it a bit longer to fit this pretty embellishment. So, pretty stamped image. So I'm going, instead of sticking it in like this, we're going to put it in this way and just stick it in. And I made this one a little shorter than one and a half. I really should have just made it straight up one and a half because it would have fit. Okay, and that makes it a much longer tag if you want it. Okay, and I'm gonna do it with the gold foil paper. This is a little thicker, but it still went in there well, so. Okay, and then we're just going to cut them down to two and a quarter each. All right, and now for for this, I am I embossed the color one with the the um, texture wrapped in texture embossing folder. So I will do I will cut this and I will emboss this and I will be right back. Okay, so now I just need I I emboss this. I don't know if you can see. Yeah. It just gives it a little something special to put this onto. So I'm going to glue this tag onto the silver foil, uh, gold foil, like that. Just offset a bit. And then I'm going to use dimensionals to attach this. And I'm just going to attach it to the green a little diagonal there. Okay, then I need my hole punch and I'm just going to punch a hole in the middle of the green. A piece of the Wonder of the Season ribbon combo pack, the gold cord, and I'm going to bend it in half, put it through the hole, open up the loop, and pull the strings through. And then what I'm going to do on here is I'm going to run it around the back, pull it back to the front, tie a square knot, I think that's a square knot, and then tie a bow there. This piece was a little bit shorter than usual, the other piece was, but that's all right. I'll just even it out. 
it's nicer when it's a little longer, but that's okay. Alrighty, and that's that. Now I have three. I have three kids and three gifts, so that's good. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me today. I appreciate the time you spend watching my videos. I would love it if you needed any of the Stampin' Up! supplies, if you would buy them through me. My address is at the top of the screen. And please subscribe and like my video if you enjoyed this. I will see you next time. Bye!